Fury is a game that is well established as a very difficult platinum trophy. Oh my god! Ah! This guy's hard, man. What? What did you? What? He deleted me. What the? F Bro, he deleted my health bar. He. Mm, there went half my health. Holy sh! Bro, it's an ultra rare platinum that not very many people have earned and the platinum is demanding in the sense that it requires you to actually be good at the game and for a game with a high skill ceiling like this one that's definitely easier said than done this is a fast-paced action-packed indie game where you go against a multitude of bosses all with different patterns behaviors and movesets and you must learn by trial and error how to systematically dismantle each and every one of them if you have any hopes of progressing through the game. Are you f- <laughs> The gameplay in this game is fantastic. It's very well balanced and fleshed out, making for a very rewarding experience. Especially if you're somebody who loves a challenge. Another plus is that even the hardest things to do in this game never feel inherently unfair, and there's no nonsense about it. And this game feels very satisfying to play from a gameplay standpoint. Needless to say, this was the perfect project to get my trophy hunting juices flowing, and taking on this challenge was going to be an absolute thrill. Before you start the game, there's three difficulty levels to choose from. There's Promenade, Fury, and Furier difficulty, which is basically easy, normal, and hard in that order. However, if you decide to play on Promenade difficulty, all trophies are disabled while playing on this mode. So this made my decision very easy, and I decided to start my first playthrough on Fury difficulty. Plus, you know, I actually want to get good at the game, and playing on easy would just defeat the purpose. I got an easy trophy right up the bat, to simply press triangle during a walking sequence, which would then light up my armor. Needless to say, I was off to a strong start. I was getting my ass kicked plenty, and so I very quickly got the trophy to pick up 10 health packs during one boss fight. However, this wasn't exactly a vote of confidence. No. Alright, we're good. However, I was immediately made aware of what kind of challenge I was about to endure. This game is all about fast reflexes, learning from your mistakes, and getting good. And if you don't, well then, you're gonna have a bad time. Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh. Oh. Oh. No! Oh. There's too much shit! There's too much shit! Still, I didn't let it get to me, and I just merely focused on enjoying my first playthrough of this game. Getting good was something that would happen over time, and so I had to make sure that I managed my expectations. After defeating the first boss, there was a trophy to actually turn around and walk back into my prison cell, and so I made sure to grab that. Once I started figuring this game out, the next trophy I got was the perfect parrier trophy to achieve five perfect parries during a boss fight. The trophy after that went hand in hand with the last one called Let's Brawl. This required me to hit a boss 10 times with a melee attack during a boss fight without dying. This trophy's description, however, is misleading because you actually have to parry the boss before going for the attack. Oh, this doesn't look good. Ah, oh, shit. Can I play now? Are you kidding me? What the fuck? Damn it! I would have loved to have hit him there! I would have loved to have hit him there! But I had to wait! Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> God damn! Then there was a trophy called Jedi Master to get 20 consecutive parries during a boss without taking damage. The hand's final phase was particularly great for this, since he decides to attack you roughly around 700 times before you're allowed to hit him back. Are, are you done? Bitch! Sit the fuck down! I got another trophy called Take It Back for successfully parrying 20 projectile attacks in one fight without dying. 
The burst boss fight has drones that constantly hunt you down, and so they made getting this trophy pretty damn easy. Next, I got the trophy for beating a boss in under 5 minutes. This trophy sounds very intimidating, but it's actually not too bad. The edge boss fight in particular goes by very quickly once you learn all of his patterns. Eventually, I made it to the end credit screen, and once that was over, I was allowed to free roam throughout the area, before actually going to finish the game. Doing so would reward me with a completely missable trophy that requires you to speak to the voice one last time before beating the game. Then came the interesting part. After progressing the game a little bit further, you were essentially given the option to receive either the good ending or the bad ending, and both endings were required for the Platinum. That being said, I decided to go for the good ending first, and I had no idea what can of shit soup that I just opened up. What the fuck? What came next was the hardest boss fight that I had encountered thus far, and I proceeded to get my ass firmly kicked. Oh, I- Oh my god, dude. Jesus Christ! Despite my struggles, I was able to get the Neon Swagger Trophy, which requires you to complete a phase of a boss fight without taking damage. And I was honestly surprised that it took me this long to get it. Although that temporary display of skill was very much short-lived, because what followed next was me getting the trophy for dying on a boss 20 times. The struggle on this boss was real. This shit is fucking annoying! Oh my... Like, and, and that's the only reason I take damage, too. Ugh, I'm gonna fucking lose it! Traits I have never seen in any of us. I... I don't... I don't know, man. I just don't know. Conscious. What the... What do I do?! Oh! Yo, that shit gets so crazy! What the fuck?! After quite a lot of bitching and moaning, I was finally able to finish the game, and I earned the trophy for getting the good ending, as well as the trophy for earning an A rank on Fury difficulty. What a thrill. I wasn't thrilled about this result, but I accepted it nonetheless. However, the worst to come was still ahead of me. And then I randomly decided to take a break from this game for nine straight months. So there was a bit of a time skip. Funny enough, during my first playthrough all those months ago, I did manage to get most of this game's trophies. I was only really missing the hardest trophies in the game, as well as a few miscellaneous trophies here and there. The first trophy I decided to try and tackle was Boost Master, which required me to hit a boss 10 times during a single boss fight using the boost attack. Back when I played my first playthrough of this game, I never actually figured out what the boost attack was or how it even worked. And so I'd never actually used it. How do you let it go? Like, I'm charging it. What? How do you... What happens then, after you charge it? I'm just standing there like an asshole, and nothing happens. Oh, oh, I think I understand. So I hit him twice, and in order to hit him ten times, it's best to let him KO me. Um, because then the phase restarts and he gets his health back, which will allow me to do it more. Yeah! He's done it! Once I learned how to use it, I felt like such an idiot for neglecting it. Because as it turns out, it's actually one of the most powerful tools at your disposal in this game. Next up was the Breakout Trophy, which was a boss-specific trophy. I was required to destroy all of the line's shield panels that surround him, without actually hitting him. You see, this phase can be ended once you deal damage to the boss himself, which means you don't have to destroy all of his shields normally. This required patience and precision. However, it honestly wasn't that hard. No! Why didn't I teleport? Oh. Ah! I almost hit him. Oh my god, that would have been so annoying. Yeah! Oh, you can get it in practice! Hell yeah! Next up was another boss-specific trophy called Ping Pong, which required me to parry one of my own projectiles against the hand shield back and forth three times in a row. This trophy wasn't all that difficult for me either. Yeah! 
does, Evie. <laughs> Let's go. Next up, I decided to focus on the untouchable trophy, which required me to defeat a boss without taking damage. And this trophy definitely proved to be its own unique challenge. First, I tried attempting this trophy on the beat. However, that immediately began to frustrate me. No! <laughs> No! Oh my god, I suck ass. You can- I didn't realize you could dodge off the map. Fuck! Yeah! Fuck! 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 How the- What the- Oh my, I got fucked up. Why are you here? Why are you doing this? Why are you making me feel bad about it? Don't make me feel bad. Uh, whoa, I, that was almost bad. No! Can you parry that shit? Oh. No! Oh. Okay, no, 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 I'm gonna fight fuckface instead. That shit seems so annoying to learn how to do it without getting hit. I'd rather fight the first boss. The chain wasn't much of an easier option. However, I was more familiar with this boss, and so I decided I had better chances on getting this trophy against him. Why? Why am I so bad at that? No! <laughs> no! I panicked! Oh! No! Oh! I th oh, no way is what I'm saying, dude. Took the words right out of my fucking mouth. This took me a while, but after many failed attempts, I eventually managed to earn the untouchable trophy. With all of the miscellaneous trophies out of the way, I decided that I would attempt yet another playthrough on Fury difficulty, except this time, I was gonna try and get an S rank. In order to achieve an S rank, I wasn't allowed to die more than 10 times. I'd have to beat the game in under two and a half hours, and I wasn't allowed to get hit more than 400 times. Now, these requirements honestly didn't seem all that strict, and I was very confident that I would be able to achieve this. And so, every time I reached the next boss during story mode, I would actually back out to main menu, head over to practice mode, and go ahead and fight that boss that I was on over and over, until I was confident that I could smash them in a real fight. There's a useful setting you could turn on in the options menu that will allow you to see how many times you died as well as got hit, and these stats will be displayed below your health bar. And this is incredibly useful for keeping track of your progress. Clean. Oh yeah! Bruh, I only got hit five times. It's not bad at all. Of course, several times when I would practice, I would do insanely well. And then when I attempted the boss again during story mode, naturally I would make a bunch of stupid mistakes. Thanks, I owe you one. No! Ah! 
Got it? Mmm, I don't want to get hit by that dumb shit. Ah, uh, whatever. No way! Why am I sucking ass? Still, I never made so many mistakes that I would ruin my chances of getting an S rank. It was just frustrating for the perfectionist in me, and he was being a drama queen. No! Oh my... Well, at least I'm gonna have five hits again. I guess I'll take it. Even though I know I could have done better. Whatever, I'll take it. There were many hardships I endured along the way, trying to learn how best to fight each boss, and at times I definitely struggled. Although, admittedly, the scale ended up being my kryptonite. No! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh my! How am I supposed to keep track? so hard for fuck's sakes man oh my no oh i no. oh. 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 chad i thought i could wing it Oh, wow, I wasn't paying attention. It's over. 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 <laughs> but what I love about this game is how genuinely fun it is to play. And actively improving at it just feels so damn good. Things were never too frustrating to the point where I couldn't overcome any particular challenge. As long as I learned from my mistakes, I would always eventually see success. And even when I got angry about how bad I was, I would always pick myself up and try again until I got it right. At this rate, by the time I get to her, I'm gonna be dead. Oh, sh The drones are so annoying! Okay, I wasn't even standing over there. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh! I like the way you. Yeah. Yeah. Some are medical skill, some are luck. Fools, the lot of them. What, did you just say everyone's a fool who relies on skill? What the fuck's wrong with you? That's the only way to do it, babe. What? How do you dodge this? What? What the fuck? How do you dodge that? That's crazy. Damn it. She told me no. That bitch just said no. Okay. I respect it. Get out of here! Stupid drone! Come on! Drone! Die! Oh, shit. Nice. She laughed at me again. <laughs> Let's try it, okay? I like the way you... <laughs> I like the way you... Come on! Big dead damage! Oh, much better! Clear! That was sexy! I could do better, but yeah, I shouldn't have got sniped, but I mean, I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. You are a You're dodging all my lasers! You are a monster! Yeah. Eventually, I was given the opportunity to get this game's third optional ending halfway during my run. Basically, one of the boss asks that you just simply give up. And if you stand there long enough next to her, the game will just end. Stay with me. Stay with me. Uh, 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 stay with me. Uh. Hell yeah.
I pity the foo who left his controller AFK and then had his run end prematurely, thus having to restart the entire playthrough all because he walked away from the controller. That would be fucking hilarious. Unless, of course, it happened to me, in which case it would be an absolute tragedy. And so, I made sure to back up my save file once again before I encountered the boss, and I went ahead and got the trophy for getting this ending. Then I loaded up my old save file, and I was able to continue the run from this point in the game, which obviously saved me a lot of time. Eventually, I made it to the end of the game once again, and fortunately for me, I still needed the trophy to get the bad ending. And funny thing about the bad ending is that if you go for it, you don't have to fight the star, which was the boss that I really struggled on during my first playthrough. So I was very thankful for that, and I certainly wasn't complaining. Confirmed! Let's destroy the world! Hell yeah! The voice is really gonna regret freeing me now. Launching invasion protocol. The voice is like, ah, shit. He really was evil. Yay! However, before moving on to this game's greatest challenge, I needed to speedrun this game one more time on Fury difficulty in order to get the two speedrun trophies. Beating the game in under 1 hour, 29 minutes, and 56 seconds would net me both of the trophies. The catch, however, was that the speedrun requires you to fight the star at the very end, and it's not optional to skip her like it was during story mode. Now, as you guys saw, this boss really messed me up my first time around, so I really needed to make sure that I practiced this boss before attempting my actual speedrun. Thankfully, this honestly wasn't all that bad, and I learned quite a few useful tricks that you could use to make this boss significantly easier. For example, during a couple of the bullet hell phases during this boss fight, there are these really nice little sweet spots you can stand where all of the bullets will just pass right on by, and you won't take damage if you stand perfectly in these spots. This in turn would allow you to rack up a shit ton of damage for free. Utilizing these strategies made this boss way less frustrating. And it was in that moment that I felt very confident in my ability to speedrun every single boss in this game on Fury difficulty. Hell yeah. I was fucking under an hour, dude. What the fuck? I clapped the shit out of this game. Let's go! Bruh. That was pretty good! Now, by this point, I had every single trophy in the game except the trophy to earn an S rank on Furier difficulty, which is the hardest difficulty in the game. To get an S on Furier, I had to die less than 30 times, complete the game in under 3 hours, and get hit less than 600 times. Right away, I noticed some significant differences between the boss's movesets. Oh, what the- ah! <laughs> Are you? No. We're not starting this way. No! Despite this, it didn't take me long to adapt to their changes, and I found that I was still quite capable of conquering them. Oh, I S-ranked it. Alright. I, I don't think I'll do that good in the actual attempt, personally, but... That is very acceptable. Now that's not to say that this was easy for me, because the new versions of these bosses were no joke. And having what it takes to defeat them was definitely hard work. Oh my! Ah! Oh, you can't go with the, the beams, you have to go against them. Oh my. Oh! No! You can't go with the beams! You have to go against them, Matt! I just said that, asshole! Listen to your own goddamn advice! Oh my god. Thankfully, I kept on progressing, and it felt doable. Okay, ow. Fucking A, yo, that was clean! That was so good. I didn't get an S on time, but whatever. Like, I feel like I learned very fast in this game, which is strange for me. Because I'm usually... I've always considered myself a slow learner. But with this game, I feel like I just kind of pick things up. It wasn't until I reached the song boss fight that I really started to notice a difficulty spike. 
All right, let's practice the song. I'll make you stay. Fuck. Oh my. Okay, those are a lot harder to dodge. Fuck. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Bro, she throws that out so fast. I yo, when she does that, that shit comes out so fast, my fucking mind breaks. Like, I have a fucking meltdown up here. And I have no clue what to do. Oh shit. It comes out so fast! Bro, what the fuck, man? This version of her was so much harder than she was on Fury difficulty. And she felt like my first real roadblock on Fury. -er. It's like, holy fuck, her attack pattern is designed to giga fuck you, yo. Oh my. Bro. Oh my. I have no clue what to do when she does that. Literally no idea. It, mm, reacting to it is so hard. Ah! Every time! Fuck! Holy fuck, man! Her moves come out insanely fast, and they're so hard to dodge! Holy shit! Oh. God dang! Timing was awful. Died twice. Got hit 41 times. Still, with enough practice, I was able to defeat her all the same. And so I continued to progress. Yeah, I think I'm ready to fight her for real. I think I'm ready to fight her for real, Zay's chat. Fucking blue balls. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to fall. No way. For extra brutality, remember to boost your sword before hitting the innocent girl. Wait, you're right. That's brilliant. Get out of my way, little girl. I want to platinum this game. Stay down. It wasn't easy, but in the end, I finally managed to finish my playthrough on Fury or difficulty. And at last, the platinum trophy was mine. Oh! Yeah! Hey, Janet! Lay it on me, game. Let me hear that beautiful sound. Oh! Oh! It's beautiful. It's beautiful. However, that wasn't the end of the story. You see, this game has a couple of optional bosses. Like the Flame, for example. I didn't even need to fight this guy because he wasn't required for any of the trophies. However, someone in my live chat happened to mention that on this game's achievement list on the Xbox version, the Flame was required to be defeated on Furier difficulty in order to get all of the achievements. Suddenly, I felt like I had something to prove. What was that? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no. Obviously, I hadn't fought this guy until now, so naturally, it was a long and arduous process to learn a completely new boss, and the flame was no joke. Oh, I'm stuck against the wall because... Wow, that's so cheap. Whatever. If you beat him, you're better than me at this game? Alright, I have to beat him now. <laughs> It has to happen. Please go down. Just, oh, oh, he was so close, man. I'm a better version. I hate that move, because I never see it coming! Ah, oh, come on! Oh. 
There was quite a bit of struggle, but I won't lie, there was a part of me that just really wanted a reason to continue playing this game, because I just love it so goddamn much. And so I kept at it. Please? This time I saw it! Yeah! What is he doing? Oh, what? Oh, come on! Oh, you think you're about to phase me? Here's a new, a brand new move you've never seen before. Instant dead. What? What killed me? No! I didn't know that's bullshit! That, that, that is straight up. Okay, I gotta, hang on, I gotta remain focused. How the fuck do you dodge that? Come on! I always... I, I'm told to be on belief. I, I just shit... I giga shit the bed that runs over. Oh my... I can't believe how tilted I got. No way there was a blue shockwave in the red AoE! No way! No way! No, cat! No! I didn't see dick! No way that! Oh my! <sighs> yeah! Well, I'm probably fucked because I never practiced this. <laughs> No. Alright, alright, you got me. You got me, fair and square. Oh, shit. Oh. Fuck! Oh, I'm shit in the bad, I'm shit in the bad. No, I did so much better on my first attempt. No! Come on! Oh my! Xbox thinks they're better than me. Fuck off. Fuck off with your Xbox bullshit. Funny enough, it only took me eight hours to platinum this game, which was pretty quick. So was it worth it? Fuck yes, it was. And it was an experience that I will never forget. Fury has become one of my absolute favorite gaming experiences that I've ever had. I couldn't believe how much I enjoyed this game. This game was such a hidden gem. It had stellar gameplay, a bomb-ass soundtrack, and even the story was pretty interesting. This game will forever be a game that I hold in the highest regard, and I'll be recommending this game to many others in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you all enjoyed it, then please leave a like, subscribe, and of course hit that notification bell for all things trophy related. And I would really appreciate that. Be sure to check out the full Platinum Experience playlist over on my channel for more Platinum Trophy videos just like this one. And be sure to keep an eye out for more in the future. And also I live stream here on my channel every week, so feel free to come stop by and chill. Anyways, take it easy, have a good one, and I will definitely see you in the next one.